Hello friends and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy and today we are doing another edition of Fan Favorite Friday. Now this is a bi-monthly series that I'll be doing that helps people f look at a team that they want to see played out or they want to see constructed and see how they would play in a certain area. Our leader is Savage Opress, completely zated, completely geared, completely with, with some really solid mods. Um, I'll be running him with a couple of different teams, but the main team that I'll be focusing on is Mother Talzin, Thrawn, Sith Trooper, and Sith Assassin. And I wanted to kind of see how these, uh, how this team plays together. Now, they're a pretty solid group. They're a pretty solid set of, of, of characters, um, but they have their pros and cons. For example, there's not a lot of synergy between the Night Sisters and Savage and Thrawn and then Sith Assassin. And so really, you know, there's there's pros and cons there, but do each of these characters work so well on their own that they benefit the greater whole? And that's what I want to test out today. Now I do want to thank Da Force, who is a member of Ball B A H L or B H a L something like that. He is a member of my guild. I should know what guild I'm in. Love the guys. Um, but he asked me to, to record this, and I'm thanking him. Uh, mad props to him for helping me play with this last this team for the last couple of days. Um, now I'm going to fade into the background, but I'm going to show you some of the wins and losses, and talk about the pros and cons of this team. And uh, I'm actually going to play against this team. Um, with an, what I'm going to call the Ewok component. So stay tuned for that. Now, one of the, this first team that we go up against is a Rebel team with a kind of a dark side component. You've got Vader, you've got Kylo Ren. Now, again, the characters that I'm going up against are Zeta. They are moderately modded. They've got some pretty solid mods, at least. Really, what I've noticed is this team is, is it comes down to who you're really facing off against. There are characters that I've faced off against that were just super difficult to, to take on. And then there were ones that were super easy. As you can see, the the plague that Mother Talzin brings in really takes out Lando Calrissian pretty quick and drops R2's health a lot. So much so that it's easy to start getting him to a point where he's not a threat. Um... As you can see, this is is a pretty basic team, and I'm I'm going to win this this round. This team doesn't always do this well against some of the other teams that I fought against. As you can see, it's taken me a little less than two minutes to get to the point where I've won this match. Now, next on the list is a team that has a little more synergy. We have CLS, Han, OG Han, R2, Baze and freaking us so and what i've noticed is even though they have more synergy these characters a lot of them don't benefit the group as a whole og han can pretty much go in on any rebel team same thing with cls and r2d2 but here you have Baze and ahsoka and they don't really feed off of each other Baze and Chirrut are obviously a better combination and against this team are more potent because Plague is easily dispelled with a fully zated, fully maxed out, fully fully geared Chirrut because of that, that heal component, but it's really not solid. Also, you do have a lot of abilities that Ahsoka can then dispel to use for her whirlwind attack, but it's not nearly as many or as, as it could potentially be on other rebel teams. Now, just notice, it, it's taking me a little bit longer than the first video to, to gain some ground. But once I start doing that, it is kind of an unstoppable force. The, the thing with this team is once it gets moving, once it gets a foothold, it is, it is easy to take on. The longer that these characters stay with Plague, the easier they are going to be to defeat. This one gets chopped up for a victory for the team. And and CLS and, and Ahsoka really aren't going to be able to pull off a victory at this point. As long as I keep Plague on, if I can stun Ahsoka or stun Han, there really is no chance for them to win. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that they don't. And move on to the next video. Now this next group is essentially what I was talking about earlier. We have a Chirrut, we have a Baze. We have a CLS lead, a Ahsoka Fulcrum, and Thrawn. I wanted to see how this team 
really faced up against this type of rebel team. It is effective. It is good at stunning. It is good at dispelling. It is really good at a lot of different things. And I got to say that this was more of a nail biter than any of the other ones that I played. Either I did really well or I did really poorly. I never had a, a match last as long as this one. And this goes down to the wire. Now, I took out Thrawn. That was the nicest thing. I can. St I have Thrawn in the mix now, and I'm still going to use him to stun. He He's great. Um, not only at, at the, the stunning and freezing, and, and that's, that's wonderful, but because he gives back protection, it does make this team a lot more survivable. And, you know, what I've noticed in, in a couple of these matches is really Sith Trooper is incredibly valuable, but I didn't use him to his full potential. With Thrawn, I should have given him more and more of an opportunity to gain that protection back so that he could have stronger survivability. Um, instead, I went more on the offensive. I went more on the attack. And, you know, in this match and then a few of the other ones, it did pay off. But that lack of foresight, that lack of planning definitely was one of the reasons why I did fail in a number of the other matches. It was just a matter of, was I able to, you know, do enough to keep my team alive? And oftentimes I didn't. Now, here we are with one minute left. I'm, it's down to two and two. And during this time, I, I was worried that I wasn't going to do it. Had I not been able to stun Churit, you know, I would have been a little more nervous. But, I mean, 30 seconds left. Now that I've been able to stun CLS, it really is, is easier, but CLS gains protection and health back. And down at eight seconds left, I finally am able to defeat him and move up a rank. Now in this next video, this is this team going up against the Night Sisters team with a Mother Talzin lead. Now I have swapped out Thrawn for Asajj Ventress. I wanted to see if a little more synergy between Mother Talzin and another character on the team would be effective. And it turns out it's not. It was not as effective as I needed to. This match lasts barely a minute and I get hosed. The, the plague just is too much for this team to stand up against. Sith Trooper, Sith Assassin both get taken out pretty early on and the rest fall pretty shortly. Now I'm going to show you the rest of the video. Just watch as this fades out. It's just sad to see how effective the Night Sisters are against my team because nothing I do can keep the this this group group alive. So let's move on. Now in this next match, I take this team. I've returned Thrawn back to his rightful place, and I'm going up against a First Order team. Now watch as they defeat me without losing protection. This is ridiculous. This team just dominates me in a really not a fun kind of way. The, the Kylo Ren unmasked is phenomenal against this team he just that that taunt that he uses every time and just the the counter attack it's so frustrating now what's funny about this team is first order stormtrooper isn't completely geared out now he, he may be zated he may be maxed out but he's not geared out so i'm not even facing up against a gear 12 stormtrooper here but i am getting hosed now granted i am going up against uh, Unmasked Kylo Ren and First Order Panda, First Order TIE Pilot Special Forces, and, you know, really some solid characters, but they take it to me in a way that is most unpleasant. Watch as just time, and I mean, they're not losing any protection, and they're going so often. Now, all of my characters are pretty high. Their Zetas, or their, their speeds are well over 200 each, and they're just getting owned. It is, it's fun to watch really, but at the same time, kind of sad because these are characters that I like and man, just over a minute and a half and this match is over and I'm, I, I'm so glad that it is. Now I want to finish off with what I, what I call the Ewok component. Now the Ewok component is just a fully Zated, fully geared out Ewok team. They're, they're my favorite team to play with and I'm going up against this team that I'm testing out, right? 
And what's interesting is I've got to tell you guys that I fought this battle four or five times before I won. Now, the reason that I chose an Ewok team is it kind of exploits a lot of the weaknesses of this, this team that I've been testing out. Not all of the Ewoks score critical hits, which makes really uh, Zavage's ability less effective. Um, they get to go often, and there's a lot of turn meter there, and there's a lot of turn meter reduction. And had I not fought this team four different times, I really wouldn't have known how to defeat it. And so going up against it is really pretty solid. Now, I've tried it a couple of different times with a couple of different teams, and I didn't necessarily get the same results. I did fight it against a CLS team, and while it was effective, it wasn't as effective as it possibly could have been, and CLS did not beat me. This is a pretty solid defensive team. There are better defensive teams, but this one's not bad at all. And and I will say, it's a lot of fun to play against, right? The the Sith Trooper is a lot of fun. He's not my favorite character. Um, neither is the Sith, the Sith Assassin. But the Sith Trooper plays is really effective on the right team. Now, I don't know if this is the right team for, for him. You know, I love Thrawn. Savage is great, especially with that, that extra Zeta. But really, what I found throughout this entire series is the team, the Savage and Thrawn and the Sith and Mother Talzin are great in the right circumstances. But when you're getting to higher level uh, arena, you're really going to struggle. Now, I put this team up against the Rancor. I put this team up against the, the Heroic Tank and really did not do well at all. But it was a fun team to play and a fun team to try out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close the video, guys. Now, if you would like to have me test out a team, leave a comment in the section below or visit the Discord link in the section below that I'll leave. That's my Discord channel. We have some fun out there. We're not as active as a lot of the other ones, but you can always drop by and say, hey, this is the team that I'd like for you to try out. I do try out the ones that I find the most interesting. Leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think of this team and how you would have chosen to play it differently. But leave a comment in the section below. Like, subscribe, share. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, stay nerdy.